Hello, welcome to Literary Life. I am so excited today because I received my first box from a coffee and a classics classic subscription. Um, I have been looking at them for a while and finally uh, was able to subscribe. So this is my first box. Now, if you're not familiar, Coffee in a Classic uh, offers two different subscription services. You can do the starter, which is what I did. So the starter basically will come with a classic book. Um, you get a coffee, tea, or hot chocolate. And what's fun is you can choose if you have a drink preference, or you can put surprise me if you don't care. And then you get two bookish items and a bookmark. And the price for that before shipping is $28.99. The other option is to get the bigger package, which is called the standard. I'm just kidding, my dog, Grayson. Um, that comes in like a really nice black photo box, and you also get a mug and a snackable item um, for the price of $39.99. But I, I just, I have more mugs than I know what to do with, and it's not that I don't mind like a really cool one, but I don't need one monthly. So anyway, I just decided to go ahead and go with the starter subscription. So I will post a link if you are interested in checking them out below. Um, I'm really, really excited to see what's in this one. So let's get started. So I'm going to, I did slit it already. I'm going to go on this side and open it up. Ooh, books are the plane. Let me just read it. Books are the plane and the train and the road. They are the destination and the journey. They are home. Anna Quinlan. Fun little surprise quote. So when I open it up, that's what you see there. So the first thing is the August card, which gives you, it looks like, a little bit of information. So I'm just going to put that down. Hey, that's Grayson. <laughs> He's, he must smell the coffee. Um, okay, so right on top, we have the bag of coffee. I chose coffee for mine. Um, so it looks like, ooh, milk, chocolate, coffee. That sounds so good. It is from Brazil, um, Lexicon Coffee Company, and it's got this cute little bookish style label on it, which I absolutely love. I can't smell it. Can you, I think Grayson can smell it, but um, yeah, I'm definitely going to be sipping on that. Um, I'm trying to see if I missed any information. Yeah, milk, chocolate, and toffee. That sounds really awesome. So I'm just going to kind of hold this up so you can kind of see. You've got the uh, crinkles and then, oh, a pencil set. Okay, so look at this cute box right here, pencil set. So let's take a look at what's inside. And <laughs> so we have a bunch of pencils that say... The Shivering Sands, Wilkie Collins. Okay, we're gonna. I, have, I don't know if these have anything to do with the book. I'm gonna assume so. So there'll be clues. The Moonstone, the Rinders, Verinder's House, this strange family story, the Three Indians. Each one has a statement on it. And Sergeant Cup. Okay, I'm clueless. So I'm going to just set them to the side and see if set of seven inspired by themes and characters. All right. So it said it on the label inspired by themes and characters. So they're not cueing me. So we'll see. We'll see what's in there. Um, so the next thing, Classics Illustrated. This is a little bookmark. Let's see if you can see that. Very cute. So it's an old, hmm, it looks like a, um, they wear the turban. Oh my God, I'm totally blinking on, what do you call, what do you call them, genie? Oh my God, my dog just took that toy. I knew he was going to do that. He pulled the stuffing out of the toy and I foolishly thought I could put it in the garbage there and actually keep him away from it, but that's not happening. I'll have to get it in a second. All right, so then there is a cute little notebook, which... I have a couple that I and I use I use notebooks, but this is nice because it's a good like travel size one. And there's some in printing on the top. It says we see with nobody's eyes, we hear with nobody's ears, we feel with nobody's hearts but our own. Wilkie 
Collins, the bookstore. And then you can see there's lined pages inside. So that's a score. That's going in my bag for sure. Um, so that way I don't have to carry around a full size. Okay, so now we're into the, the book. So I am so... Okay, the Moonstone. I have no idea what this book is. Okay, so this is like... It, like when I first was pulling it out, like Nancy Drew is coming to mind because the artwork style reminds me of the Nancy Drew books I grew up with. Um, so this is a Wilkie Collins novel, The Moonstone. I have no idea what this is about. At a party celebrating her 18th birthday, Rachel Verinder wears the stunning yellow diamond she unexpectedly inherited from her uncle, unaware that it was plundered from a sacred Indian shrine 50 years earlier. When the jewel goes missing later that night, suspicions are raised and accusations fly, tired, um, in all directions. Sifting through divergent accounts of what happened, the indomitable Sergeant Cuff must find the moonstone and the truth about its mysterious disappearance. So as I'm reading this, it's kind of funny because I'm already thinking back, oh, that was on the pencil. Recognized as the very first detective novel in the English language. The Moonstone, this is from 1868, earned Wilkie Conlon's the reputation of the godfather of the classic English detective story, with Dorothy L. Sayers declaring, um, nothing human is perfection, but the Moonstone comes about as near perfection as anything of the kind ever can. For 150 years, its intricate, locked room puzzle and multiple narrators have influenced generations of mystery authors. So that is so cool. 1868. I don't think I've ever read a detective story this old before. So that will def definitely be interesting. Definitely will be interesting. 150th anniversary edition. That's, that's seriously old. <laughs> oh my god, look at his face. Like, I feel like like back in the day on television, they wouldn't have ethnic actors. It would be white people that were put with makeup to make make them look like they were somebody of color. And this literally, unless he's supposed to be like stealth, I'll find out when I read the book. But um, this looks like somebody that's got like one of those bad makeup jobs. Probably the very finest detect detective story I ever read. All right. So I think that is everything. Yes. Very fun. All right. So standard, again, um, or excuse me, the starter classic, classic subscription, you will get your classic book. Um, I feel like there are three choices I forgot about, too. I went with the classic literature, but you can also pick a nonfiction or children's, I think. So you, on top of having choices with the drink and the box itself, you also have choices in the type of book you want. So with the starter subscription, you get the book, you get your full-size drink, coffee, tea, or hot chocolate, and then you get a few bookish items that are related to the story. Very fun. Oh my god, and now this totally makes sense now that we've seen the cover. So I'll definitely keep that. That bookmark actually fits it beautifully. You can see the I don't know how well, but you can kind of see the style. So that bookmark will definitely be kept with that book. And then um, there within the card now that we can look at that. So it gives you the little rundown on the story and then what's in the um, what's in the box itself. So yeah, and it looks like everything. Oh, how fun. So they made the bookish items and uh, the coffee is from Lexicon Coffee, and they donate all their, oh, 10%, not 100, 10 percent of their profits. I was sitting here for a second like, how do they do that? Um, towards putting more books in the hands of children. So very cool. And then there's a code if you want 10% um, off your order with them for coffee. So Coffee and a Classic, I will be getting this monthly now. If you have any questions, feel free to post them below. If you've actually read this unique book I had not heard of, um, you know, feel free to comment, just no spoilers. And as always, I will post a book review. I was just getting my bookmark set up. Look at that. Very cool. I will post a book review um, once I finished reading this book. So this will be quite an adventure. I have not read a, I don't think I've read, I think I've done the early 1900s detective stories, but I don't think I've read anything from the 1800s. 
So that will be really interesting. It'll be like a cultural study, right? But other than that, all right, happy reading. Have a great week. It's a Monday night here. And um, until next time, we'll have more. All right, take care.